بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد الله سبحانه وتعالى's creation is filled with wonders and we cannot overstate and we cannot encompass the beauty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation. That's why I love to go and reflect on the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Here we are in Washington State, where I'm from, and we have a chance to reflect upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's signs together, bi-idhnillah ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَا خَلَقْتُوا الْجِنُ وَالْإِنسِ لِلْيَعْبُرُونَ I have not created mankind in the jinn except for the purpose of worshipping me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not created all of this in vain, uh, out of vanity, and out of just uh, without any purpose. Allah says, I have not created mankind in jinn except for the purpose of worshipping me. Meaning all of this should be a means for reflecting and using to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We use this creation. We don't worship these things. The trees, the sun, the moon, and the stars. We don't worship these things. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَاسْجِدُوا لِلَّهِ أَلَذِي خَلَقَهُمْ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that you should make your sujood, your prostration to Allah, the one who created these things, if you are uh, truthful, if it is Him that you really worship, if you really worship Allah, if you really want to worship the one, the only one worthy of worship, the one who's, who has, has the right, the only one who, who is deserving of worship, and that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Baqarah, a beautiful verse that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about things as simple as the, the mosquito and how the believers reflect on these signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Qala subhanahu wa ta'ala after a'udhu billahi min shaitan rajim qal inna Allah la yastahyi an yadraba mithlan ma ba'udatan fama fawkaha فَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا فَيَعْلَمُونَ أَنَّهُ الْحَقُّ مِنْ رَبِّهِمْ وَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا فَيَقُولُونَ مَاذَا أَرَادَ اللَّهُ بِهَذَا مَثَلًا يُدِلُّ بِهِ كَثِيرًا وَيَهْدِي بِهِ كَثِيرًا وما يدل به إلا الفاسقين. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, Surely Allah is not ashamed to set forth any parable, that of a gnat, or anything greater than that. Then, as for those who believe, as for those who believe. Then those who believe as for those who believe, then uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says They know that it is the truth from their Lord. And as for those who disbelieve, As for those who disbelieve, they say, What is it that Allah means by this parable? He causes many to err by it, and many He leads aright by it. But He does not cause to err by it any except the transgressors, the fasikeen. So those people who don't believe in Allah and reject the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this beautiful creation they attribute it to mother nature they attribute it to 
uh, the uh, evolution. They attribute it to this and that. Those people who reject Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's signs, Allah is not in need of them. And they are in need of Allah. And they don't even know. And they are the fasiqeen, as Allah says. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes them as the transgressors. So don't ever be deceived by arguments of atheists and those who reject Allah, who reject the one who created all this, all this magnificent creation. Never, ever be amazed by their arguments and their speech, nor waste your time listening to them. Because Allah is the one who makes these beautiful parables. And no parables are as beautiful as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's parables as He makes in the Qur'an. The, the examples for us, the examples for us to reflect on, the examples for us to follow, the examples for us from the NBA, alayhim afdal salatu wa salam. All of these things are a great ni'mah from Allah. And they cause the believer, the believers to, to be filled with iman. Their hearts are filled with iman. فَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا فَيَعْلَمُونَ أَنَّهُ الْحَقُّ مِنْ رَبِّهِمْ As for those who believe, then they know that this is a haqq. This is the haqq from their Lord. This is from Allah. وَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ كَفُرُوا فَيَقُولُونَ مَاذَا أَرَادَ اللَّهُ بِهَذَا مَثَلًا the, the disbelievers, they say, what does Allah mean? by that example. SubhanAllah, always questioning. And that shows us also another a, a benefit we can gain from this ayat. This is, this is not the tafsir of the ayat, but it's a benefit in general, just from the general left of the ayat. Showing us not to be excessive, always questioning the shara, always questioning the one who created everything. The one who's worthy of worship, questioning the Qur'an. Well, you know, maybe I can find an exception. Always looking for a rukhsa. Always looking for a, a, a means for uh, taking the easy way out to avoid a ruling in the Sharia. Always looking for a shortcut. And always questioning. Well, maybe it doesn't mean that. Maybe a riba doesn't mean uh, usury. Maybe riba, maybe it's permissible to take one house on riba because, you know, we live in America and we, we have a necessity. Abidin, a'udhu billah min dhalika. May Allah protect us from that. May Allah protect us from compromising His, His law and questioning His authority, subhanahu wa ta'ala. But instead, the believer should have taslim fi qalb. The heart should be comforted. And may Allah bless us to be of ahli iman and the believers. Amin ya Rabbil Alameen. And reflect upon his signs. Benefit from this, the beauty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's creation. I come out here to reflect, to benefit from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's signs. I can't think of a, a aside from just reading the Quran and, and those other actions, but I love to, to see and, 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 and indulge in the signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So for those who are able to, benefit. Benefit from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's beautiful beautiful creation and reflect on his signs use this as a means to come closer to Allah may Allah forgive us of our many sins and our many shortcomings and protect us from being of those who don't use his signs to come closer to him and protect us from being those who are hard hearted anything I said that was correct was from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam